Come now, Fernand. How long do you intend to glower like that? We're nearly to Sophia Harbor, and your grim facade is going to scare people. I do not glower. I'm only thinking what I'll do to that wretch once I see him. This was Slade's foul up, and his alone. Why do the Knights of Sophia ride out to clean up his mess? What choice is there? Sophia needs her harbor to conduct trade. And the traitor's rebellion has been allowed to continue for far too long. They are crippling the economy. Citizens assault the castle regularly with complaints about the price of goods. I understand the problem, Clive. It's the solution that invites my collar. Had the knights ridden to address the traitors instead of that fool Slade, this absurd conflict would have been over already. But instead, we find ourselves in the middle of a truly sorry mess. All because that obsequious worm desired the honor for himself. The Muttonhead was probably looking for concessions at the harbor as a reward for such brave service. Instead, he lets the traitor's mercenaries hand him his own buttocks. Then he begs the knights to send reinforcements. The Gaul! I hope the sellswords carve him up and feed him to the fish. Are you quite finished? The fact remains that mercenaries have been staging raids from the harbor. While I have scant praise for how Slade has handled this, we have a duty to end these raids and save the people from their plight. Now, are you with me or no? Of course I'm with you. Don't be daft. The king bid us come after all, and it is the king I serve. And I'll tell you this much, Clive. You were wise not to bring her. Not to bring who? Claire, of course. If you think me cross, imagine how your sister would feel about Slade's idiocy. She'd likely already have him skewered like a hair on a spit. <laughs> Must you remind me? I still get ulcers just knowing that she's joined the Knights. One day her hoydenism will get the best of her, mark my words. <laughs> the captain of the world's finest knights, unmanned by his little sister. Well, at least I can sympathize with your plight now. How old is your sister now, anyway? She just turned four. Her brother will be five within the month. At first, I roiled at the idea of father's new marriage. It felt somehow rushed, even coming a dozen odd years after mother's death. Still, it's hard not to adore any sibling who barely comes up to your knee. My next furlough cannot arrive soon enough. You'll have to introduce me. You and Claire are always welcome at our house. You know that. I know both the little ones would love her rambunctious side. Kindly don't remind Claire that she has a rambunctious side. Ah, uh, there's the water. Shall we finish up here and see about that furlough? Finally, I thought you'd never come. Well met, Sir Clive. You're a true friend to aid me so. Now, scatter these barbarians to the wind, would you? <laughs> a man is shameless. Traitors! Order your soldiers to stand down at once! If you have grievances, you can address them through the proper channels. If you lay down arms now, you have my word that you will not be harmed. This is your last chance. Open the harbor! Huh! And what's your word worth? We begged the king to rid us of the pirates, and he did nothing! The farmers struggle enough to deliver crops with this endless drought, yet what little makes it here to port gets hauled away to the capital! Then the king also takes our gold by raising taxes! Does he wish us starved? I cannot speak to the king's mind. Your men are the ones who attacked us without so much as hearing our peace! We have nothing to discuss with the likes of you! Two arms, men! Kill them all! Don't leave a single night standing! Gah! What are you doing? Did you come here to save me or get me killed? Gods, I knew Slade would bungle things up before we arrived. Well, do we help him? Do we really have a choice? Let's go. We must keep him alive. Face me. Allow me. A hair too late.
could you let us... Sir Knights, I knew Sophia's finest would come through, so I did. 
And I swear to you, Sir Clive, I shall repay this debt. Shut up, you damned fool! How will you repay the compatriots you left dying in the mire? Instead of fighting with your men, you hid and begged for your life. Craven! Your very existence shames all Sophian nobility! Craven! How dare you! I'll not suffer such insult from a damn lapdog! Call me that again. Enough, both of you! Surely there are more mercenaries on the way. We must depart at once. Everyone must stand for something! Oi, where are you going? We ain't done with you yet! <sighs> that didn't take long. On your feet, Slate. We are breaking through. Fight in the name of your fallen men. Surely you can manage that much. What? B but there's too many of them. My arm! Ow, ow, ow! Must have wounded it back there. I don't think I can fight. What manner of idiot do you take me for? For a wounded man, you seem to have had no problem barking orders. Shut up! If I say I can't fight, then I can't. Were you sent here to rescue me or not? It's your duty to stay here and hold them off to secure my escape. You can protect me or leave me to die, and the latter would not reflect well. Oh, but don't you worry. I promise to inform His Majesty of these events. He shall know that the Knights of Zofia fulfilled their duty with honor. Farewell then, friends. The bards shall sing of your heroic deeds this day. this will do.
This is too perfect. In my plight, I seem to have struck upon a golden opportunity. Let those cell swords carve them both up and feed them to the jackals. That pretentious blowhard Clive was certainly never my favorite. But it's that dog Fernand who really needs to suffer. He'll be sorry he insulted me once he's rotting in hell. <laughs> That dastard! How low is he willing to sink? Rats do not sink, Fernand. They scurry. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just... I've never heard you openly disparage him. <laughs> then please allow me the joy, just this once. The good news is that he'll no longer be slowing us down. Are you ready? Our exploits today will make a thrilling tale for your dear sister tomorrow. Just so, Clive. Just so. Must heal quickly. Oh. 
Submit or be struck down! This may require caution. I'll not be trifled with! Sophia! Uh, how could this happen? We hired every sellsword we could afford! Now you will open the harbor. It belongs to all of Sophia, not just to you traitors. You've committed a serious crime against your kingdom. <laughs> you think we don't know that? But it was the sword of starvation for us. And the sword is quicker. Go on, then, knight. Take my head and be done with it. It is not my place to mete out punishment. The ringleaders will face the king's justice for their crimes. Uh. However, I will take your grievances to his majesty myself. I shall ask that he have the pirates driven away as you requested. And I shall also ask that he entrust this task to the Knights of Sophia personally. Clive. You, you would do that for us, sir? On my honor. Oh, oh, Mila's blessings upon you, sir! <laughs> Clive, a moment. You should not make promises you cannot keep. And which promise is that? I can speak with the king as I said. Yes, you can. But it's by Chancellor Desai's orders that we haven't engaged the pirates. He claims it's to avoid provoking Regal. But we've all heard the whispers. Many say he's actually in collusion with the pirates. His Majesty will be forced to heed either your words or the Chancellor's. And you know well which ones will carry the greater weight. So you would have me rob the traitors of all hope? Is that it? No, Fernand. I will bend the knee and beg the King grant them mercy. <sighs> then I shall be there at your side when you do. Thank you, Fernand. But what about Slade? Claire is waiting for us at the castle, remember? If he beats us back, she'll likely pull him apart one limb at a time. Again with your imagery. I only hope Matilda is there to keep her in check. <laughs> They'll both be glad to see you, Clive. Shall we be off? Of course. If we start off now, we should make good time. Come, my friend. <laughs>